to the Garden Rebel channel and today with all the rain that we've been getting here lately I've decided to go ahead and see if the potatoes are ready to dig. As you can tell I pulled up a couple vines here and I get asked a lot when are my potatoes ready? Well normally whenever my potato vines start to wilt and die as these have I know that my potatoes are not going to get much bigger. Actually they're sitting in loose ground mice rats moles slugs water everything can get to them right now so i want to be able to get them out of the dirt before they rot and what i normally do is i'll just come in i'll pull a vine up get it out of the way Throw it over to the edge because I do not want to leave these in my garden this fall. Uh, <laughs> now these were Pontiac Reds and some Kenny Beck potatoes that we planted. Now I've seen some. Now I done a video on how I plant potatoes, and this is a video on how I harvest them. Now with my corn up and okra and corn on this side, I can't get a tractor in here right now. The reason that my potatoes are ready to harvest now is because we had them in the ground so early this year because of a mild winter. We had kind of a wet spring, turned off cold, but the potatoes weren't hurt by that. I had a comment the other day, how does your garden produce when it's full of weeds? Well, we're fixing to find out how my garden produces when it's full of weeds because these weeds have gotten away from us this year because of rain. But it's also beneficial too. It grows up around the tomato plants and kind of keeps them protected from some of the issues that we got out here, rabbits and things of that nature. But uh, I'll just dig with my hands, starting out, and we'll see what we come up with. I'm missing a lot of Move these down. I see some sticking out of the ground right there. All right. We've got three vines pulled up. And uh, so far, there's four nice potatoes. Another handful of potatoes. And a couple little small ones. So I'll dig back through here with my shovel and we'll be right back with you. Well we've got four or five pounds of good potatoes right there out of three vines. So let's take a look at them. All right now plenty of Kenny Beck's and a red potato and I'm already starting to get snails on these guys so that's one reason why I wanted to get them out but this is the size of potato that we've got this year it's almost a red skin and we've got several more that size now somebody asked me the other day about washing the dirt off of them. Before you store your potatoes, do not wash the dirt off of them. Now, there may be a time where you cut one, such like, like I did with this one right here. The only thing you want to do is reach over, push it in the dirt, seal it up, store it. It'll keep that way for several weeks. All right. And just because there's weeds in this garden doesn't mean it's not going to produce. Trust me. As you can tell by looking behind me, our weeds have gotten away from us this year. So let's dig one more area for potatoes. And I'm going to call it an evening and get this stuff up there cleaned up. We've already got a five-gallon bucket of tomatoes. And I'll show you what come out of the garden. 
when we're done. Crab grass is everywhere this year. All right, let's find out where our root system is here. These potato vines are dead. So, I want to get those potatoes out of the ground. See if we want to reach down in here. Pull back. Pull, oh, we're already starting to find them. Oh man, that one's in there. That's a good potato right there now. There's another good one. And another good one. And I believe that's all we're going to dig for today. And we've only got about another 50 foot. <laughs> so let's go ahead and look at what we've got so far. I'm sure that there's more in there. I'm just going to have to get it with my shovel. See what's in the sides. And then I'll call it evening. We'll go up. See what we got out of the garden today. And call it a Sunday. We got our stuff up here to the house and we've got it separated out. Now I'm not going to clean my potatoes off. What I'm gonna do is let I did one just to show you what we've got here. But this is the size of potatoes that we got this year. Now, you know, average size from that size right there to this size. Now I have seen YouTube gardeners, some of the popular channels, actually harvest potatoes this size and called a successful harvest well there's a big difference in this potato and that potato now if you're a new gardener and you've never planted potatoes before these are some great potatoes to eat and i would count this a good harvest if i had uh several several buckets full of these but if you don't have several buckets full of these and you've planted you need to look at the nutrients in your dirt. There's something not right in there with your potatoes. You really need to have a soil test done. Now, we used a lot of chicken litter. When I was planting these, about my, probably about two gallons of chicken litter mixed with dirt. Now, when you've got several potatoes this size, it means you've got some healthy soil. And these potatoes right here will be fine once the dirt dries off of them. I'll simply take it, wipe it off, and I'll store it in a dark, cool spot, usually in the crawl space of the house. But, that's how I harvest my potatoes. Now, if I'd had the tractor down here, I'd simply drug uh, a potato plow through there, peel them up, but with the way my garden's shaped this year, because I can find it in such a small space, I'm gonna have to hand dig the potatoes. And that's really not a bad thing because I kept my dirt pretty loose this year. And uh, we got them out pretty early before the dry season hit. So this is what we've got off of three to four vines right here. I don't plant a lot of potatoes here on the Dry Creek Bee Farm because they go to waste. I mean, you can plant 10 pounds of seed potatoes. And Oki Rob proved this last year on his videos. And when you take a tractor bucket full of potatoes out to throw away, that's, a, that's not a good thing. So we went small this year because it's just two people here at the house. And we do not eat a lot of potatoes unless it's with a roast or green beans or something of that nature. We don't fry them anymore. We bake them if we do eat them or mash them up. I'm trying to stay away from fried foods, and that's kind of hard to do here in the south. But anyhow... I'm the Garden Rebel, Todd, and uh, me and old Spud, we just like to say goodbye. But before I go, I want to remind you guys, anybody can do this. Seriously, anybody can. So, watch my channel. Watch how I plant these guys next year in the springtime. 
you grab you a bag, follow that simple guideline, and if your soil's right, you'll have a harvest like this. No magic dust. I'm not out of stock on it. I'm not going to charge you an arm and leg for it. I'm going to show you exactly how we do it next year. So, until next time, you guys always remember, you're welcome down here at the Garden Spot. I'm the Garden Rebel, and I'll see you later, hopefully.